And now... Next two poems is a sequence one and two. It's for Jack Foley. Jack Foley Day. Letter writing one. After listening to Jack Foley and Jerome, Jerome Rothenberg on romanticism, post-romantic poetry, Poems for the Millennium, volume three. Someone is speaking easily. My ancestor. Their speeches run on easy plumb. Don't anger my spine. Becomes rhythmical, breaks into additional passages. Don't get my goat. Puts a spell on, exiles our tongue. Don't slap my other side. Letting in variety at the door. Ideas won't get at my treasure. Exiles our secrecy on the way to first bite. Ideas won't force my hand and futile seconds. Largely, we are on our own. Don't anger me with who did what first. Least comprehensive, monotony goes to lethargic ends. Don't anger me, can't you see? I've no hope to change that construction. I'm at peace. Parenthetical parents will wander into essential, don't anger me, looking for a safe, Chaos. Everyone knows a list of things which need a stop. Don't anger me, looking for a safe way out. Heavier than a comma. Don't anger me in the name of saints or beset your moon, bitches. Don't anger me. It's bad enough already. Put right in an embalmed body. Don't sue me for protection. Sacrifice the human rest. Don't anger me. I won't Budge. Morphemes are coming to town. I won't move. I won't ever change. Don't ask aliens, warned Stephen Hawking. Don't anger me. I will stab every last one of you. Better stick to the sticks. Present participle reassures. If you try to follow my footsteps, I'll, I'll. That much is true of any period piece. One must get the peg out of the hold. Who asked you for help? Who asked? Eternal change does not gratify our modern. You, don't anger me, I'm hard of hearing. Existence, digressions comment a most expandable. Don't anger me. Form, speculatively, the automator rises. I'll take what's right until there's nothing left to take. As vague gaggles of mileage, people separated. Say, may have deeply severed roots. What, like a pool table and cue? Perhaps that is why they heap out such meager portions. You get pass on the offensive and defensive cup. Once our title gains attention, plumes exploding off the surface of planets once considered, we must give room, give way. Stars, we met on the magnificent Queen Mary before the war. Satellite beyond existing galaxies. We dedicated our lives and lies to senses of dead poppies in the field and answer the thread of our arguments. Of course, everyone at the party thought you absurd. Needs no further laughter. Divide does not conquer, though we ourselves divide. As you were peering through a 20-foot long telescope into unequal parts, the number of a unit is left there. Entirely up to us, we cannot make clear what each of us does not. Haven't you been asking all the wrong questions? There is no reason for extravagant explanation. All along, dreams mingle and run together in an almost nearly possible continuum. Our shape must be most covenant. Have you ever listened to wild dogs baying, longing the night? Is there every channel scrambled with lesser thought? You say they never meant to sound self-centered, precisely the reverse, and wisely reverberate, struggling to grasp the treat of our entreaties. Did you ever think they could be deported? Writing is very old. 
yet much older, the voice. Letter writing to, writing between, Laura writing in due form. I don't doubt you. We will come across a pair of infinities. I know you love me. The nurse agreed the morphine was weak. It's a fact of your indoor face, like living in a barn with a barren verb, a true fancy of your muscularity. Most grammar books make a big to-do about vocabulary. Your step is confident. A wall with bricks can walk, but not build. Your look is thorough. How over, moreover, thence hence. The matter of punctuation may seem like a minor affair. Say, your stay beside me is a pillow. The indefinite can cause a lot of trouble. The roll on, the sentence some love can string it on. And sleep is on my own. They love to go to town, and they think they might this afternoon or possibly tomorrow, if. But make me a statement. Victorian schoolmasters set the periodic tables replacing modifiers under the forks and knives. In due form, an endless fool's cap. The end may become overly attached to its ruler. Witness before a notary. We may have seen previous paragraphs elope to be signed for on receipt. We may order divine signposts for exits and open under oath to believe you must enter the race. An antique paper missing from my strong box. Numerals are not quite so mechanical to the clock. A bond to clutch when hail tortures the chimney. Seven syllables. And lightning circles redder around the city. What are a few frightening terms in our school box? Who will be the wiser? And your brisk step and thorough luck? Say bird if you mean chair are gallant but uncircumstantial. A chair may sound stuffy and incoherent and not mentionable in a doom book. For years, the dash was confined chiefly to personal letters. Ink is spewing, she, he said. Will someone please cap the damn fountain pen? <laughs> <laughs>